Well, in a tato, beautiful start to the day in Wellington this morning, but you've been traveling along the coast road and you're here at the turn off. You're about to go out to Bering Head to meet up again with Gordon Brailsford. You're about to cross over the bridge of the Wainui Mata River. It's really exciting. I can't wait to get here and talk more with Gordon about how they collect air samples at Bering Head and what they do with them and why Bering Head is such a great location. So let's carry on. We'll see you there soon. So you've made it to Bering Head and this was Gordon, you met Gordon back in the lab at Niwa in Wellington where he was showing you how they analyse gas samples and this is the place where the gas samples are collected but just before we get into that of course you have to have a look at that amazing lighthouse over there because we're on the south coast here, Wellington. What makes this such a good place to collect the air samples from? Well Bering Head being on the south coast of, of Wellington, we don't have any any people living to the south of us. And about 30% of the time when the air arrives here, it's coming straight off the ocean. Yeah. So it gives us a really good um, indication of what the air is like out there in the, the big wide world and not necessarily influenced by the local cities and factories and things like that. Hey, well now I bet we go and check out the buildings and see what cool features you've got to show us. Sure, come on. So at the site we're 80 metres above the sea and then this mast is another 10 metres and the air that we're going to collect for either our flasks that we measure back in the lab or in this, uh, in this lab here come from the top of that, that mast and you can see the little funnels there, the air comes down and into these buildings and that's, uh, that's what we then analyse later. such a beautiful day outside. I hate to bring you into this little pokey room, but this is quite an important room, Gordon. What happens in here? This is the room where we measure greenhouse gases um, at, at the site. So we have an analyzer here that measures every second carbon every second. dioxide, every second carbon dioxide and methane and things like that. And you've been doing that since 1972? Since 1972, wow. this room has, has been working like that. And um, the, that date has, um, yeah, just continue. So you must have built up quite a picture of things over the years. Oh, ab absolutely. So, you know, we, we've we seen uh, changes in the, the concentration of the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and, and then the effects of, of um, as we emit more and more around the world, we see that here. So in the lab, we you, you were taking samples from here and uh, you're going to take us into the room where yeah, those are collected from? Yeah, exactly. Come next door okay. and I'll show you how that's done. So this is the Bearing Head Auto Sampler System. I just read that off the screen. Gordon, we, we spoke in the lab in that earlier video about capturing gas for, for further analysis at Niwa. This is, this is where the gas is bottled. Yeah, so when, exactly, so when we've got that southerly air coming off the ocean and it's nice and stable, doesn't have any cities or, or industry air included in it, then this, um, this system is told to collect a sample and it will automatically flush out the, the, the flask and fill it up. And that, that's going to give us, like you mentioned in that video, a clearer picture of, of, of the makeup. Yeah, so the, the analyses that we can do in the laboratory tell us more about where that air has come from and the processes that it might have been in before it arrived here. Well, it's a small little humble place, Gordon, but it's got a big story, hasn't it, really? Oh, absolutely. And we can you know, learn something from it. Yeah, and I, I guess uh, I've been observing the greenhouse gases increase over many years, and, and it's, uh, you know, that this information is used around the world. What we're seeing is in increasing emissions and how we change that, you know, sort of comes back to all of us, really. Yeah. And so while, you know, what industry or governments have a role to play, you know, I think also we have a role to play as well. Yeah. 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 Very good. Thanks very much for showing us around. Oh, it's been a pleasure.